making samosas, but I lied. <laughs> so today we're gonna be making honey garlic barbecue salmon, and I'm gonna tell you how to make it. I mean, that's So let's get right into it with the sauce and marinade, cause I am one saucy motherfucker. So we're gonna start off by thinly slicing some chilies to add flavor to your bland ass life. Then drop the chilies in the bowl like I drop my parents' expectations. Next, prepare to finely mince the most important part of a honey garlic dish, the garlic. Make a sexual joke for the hahas, finely mince that shit, and there you go. Next, we're gonna chop up our gingers, and I'm not talking about those motherfuckers with no souls. Now, ginger isn't a common household item, but I suggest you stop being lazy and go out to the grocery store and fucking buy some. Aggressively throw it in the bowl like I threw away my future. Now, let's move on to the sauces. Now, for those of you who know me, you know I'd do anything, anything, anything for soy sauce. Next, we're gonna piss in some tamari, and <laughs> no, dumbass, it's not the same thing. Next, we're gonna add in the only oil country should be fighting over, sesame oil. Personally, I like mixing in a tablespoon of sesame seeds, but if you don't like good food, you don't have to do that. Toss in some garlic sriracha if you're a spicy boy like me. Now we're gonna add in the honey. Bro, just fucking add in the honey. Now add in the second most important ingredient in a honey garlic dish, the honey! And there you have it, your delicious, flavorful, savory marinade. Now we're gonna prepare to cut our salmon into four fillets. Absolutely butcher that fish carcass while continuing to disappoint your family. I should have just made the goddamn samosas. Realize you were using the wrong knife the entire time and cut up the rest of the fillets. I really wish I would have just stuck to the samosas. Toss the fillets of carcass into the marinade and prepare to give them a good old shake. Put the seal bowl into the fridge and let it marinate for a good two hours. I chose this recipe because I thought I could have a nice, fun, sunny barbecue day. I wore my favorite red shirt, put on some sunglasses, and then Mother Nature decided to gently penetrate me in the butthole. But the show must go on, so take your salmon fillets and gently put them on the grill, skin side down in order to get that skin nice and crispy. Because we glaze these in honey, the sesame seeds, garlic, and peppers are actually going to stay on the fillets. But we're going to top the fillets with another tablespoon of sauce anyways because I'm a saucy motherfucker. Give those fillets a flip and you'll be golden. Okay, so remember how I said it was raining? WHAT THE FUCK, SON?! Bro. Whoa! This is insane! It may, it's so shocking how much of a difference it makes when you put a salmon fillet on a grill as opposed to the oven. Mm. That's really good. <laughs> Cooking with Adam Sam, episode 3. Thanks for watching. This fish was fucking amazing. Fuck this day, fuck this weather, and fuck you. Till next time, bye!